Hi there, Smart Driver. Rick with Smart Drive Test talking to you today about ABS brakes, anti-lock brakes. Anti-lock brakes have been around on vehicles for more than a quarter of a century, and you should know if your vehicle is indeed equipped with ABS brakes. Actually, in this day and age of motor vehicles, it would be uh, somewhat surprising that you didn't have ABS brakes on your vehicle. Anti-lock brakes uh, prevent wheel lockup, especially of the steer tires in an emergency braking situation. Essentially what they will do is release the brakes. The way that you know that your vehicle has ABS brakes is, as you can see here in the image, turn the key to the on position. You'll see the ABS light on the dash and it should go out momentarily. Once it goes out momentarily, that means that the ABS brakes are working normally on your vehicle. If you haven't experienced ABS brakes before, I do strongly suggest you go out someplace and give them a go. Get the vehicle up to 30 or 40 kilometers an hour, 15 or 20 miles an hour for those of you in the States, and make a very hard, hard brake application and hold. ABS brakes have to be held in the on position, the very hard on position. Now, pushback, shutter, noise, feeling like you're launching the space shuttle, that's all normal with ABS brakes. So today we have actually the perfect day for going out and, and showing you how ABS brakes work because we've got a skiff of snow on the roads which makes them slippery and the ABS brakes will engage much more quickly and are prone to doing that on slippery conditions. So if you're driving around in the winter time, you're gonna find that your ABS brakes come on a lot faster and engage more quickly than they normally would under on dry conditions and under ideal braking situations. So know that and as well ABS brakes are not going to stop you in a shorter distance uh, as opposed to conventional brakes so know that as well that in the winter time especially brake early creep up to where you want to stop and then come to a complete stop. So you need to break early that way you don't hit ice and snow and the ABS engage. Okay so we're going to go out I'm going to show you how to use the ABS brakes and give you some idea of what you can expect in terms of ABS brakes. So stick around, we'll be right back with that information. Hi there Smart Drivers, welcome back, talking today about ABS brakes. And you can see that we have a bit of snow on the road here, which makes it perfect for us to demonstrate to you how to use ABS brakes. And you can hear the noise and the shutter, and that is the ABS brakes engaging. This is one of the fun lessons that I give to new students who are learning how to drive and actually I often do this right at the beginning so they have a good idea how to brake aggressively. Here's another one. And the vehicle will come to a stop but you can hear that grinding noise and you can feel the vehicle pulsating, you can see it shaking in the cameras. That is all normal for ABS brakes. And if you're not familiar with ABS brakes and that happens the first time that you're on snow or ice, you might find it a bit disconcerting and wonder what's going on, but actually it's all normal. So just know that that is going to be ABS brakes. We're gonna do it one more time here. And actually you might find yourself having to post off the steering wheel too to get the ABS brakes to engage so that you can hold the brake pedal on to full capacity and actually get the ABS brakes to engage. There we go. That should be a good demonstration of ABS brakes for you. Lots of fun. Quick review of ABS brakes. Go out and try them. If you haven't had them activate on you before, go out and try them, especially if you've got a bit of skiff of snow on the road and whatnot, they're gonna engage much more quickly than if you're on dry pavement. If you're on dry pavement, you're gonna to have to work pretty hard to get them to engage. Know that pushback, shutter, noise, all of that is normal in ABS brakes. If you don't know you have ABS brakes on your vehicle, turn the key to the on position, the ABS light should come on momentarily and then go out. That means that they're working normally. If you don't find the light on your dash, have a look in your owner's manual, that too will tell you. And if all else fails, 
Google could probably find that information for you <laughs> as well. ABS brakes, they don't stop you in a shorter distance than standard brakes, so know that. And as well, if you're on slippery conditions, it's probably gonna be a little bit farther because they activate much more quickly and your brakes are actually releasing. So stop back from where you actually wanna stop, not stop, but actually slow right down to a crawl and then creep up to where you actually wanna stop. Question for my smart drivers. Do you know whether you have ABS on your vehicle or not? Leave a comment down in the comment section there. All of that helps out the new drivers learning how to drive. I'm Rick with Smart Drive Test. Thanks very much for watching. If you like what you see here, share, subscribe, leave a comment down in the comment section. As well, hit that thumbs up button. Check out all the videos here on the channel if you're working towards getting your license or starting a career as a truck or bus driver. Lots of great information. Head over to my website, good information over there as well. Stick around to the end of the video, funny bits and links to the other videos and to my website. Thanks again for watching. Good luck on your road test. And remember, pick the best answer, not necessarily the right answer. Have a great day. Bye now. But it's still pretty slick. I'm sure it's gonna be interesting for the first day of driving and people getting used to driving in the snow again.